Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn Facebook style footer pop-up notification by using PHP with Ajax Query and Bootstrap. In one of the over previous tutorial we have already made discussion on Facebook style header notification system by using PHP with Ajax Query Bootstrap. In Facebook we have seen suppose we have share any picture or link on Facebook and someone has like or share our picture or link then at that time we have seen notification at left foot or side and it will disappear after some time. So this type of Facebook footer pop-up notification system we have made by using PHP script with Ajax query method and bootstrap framework. For display notification on web page we will use Bootstrap Alert class. Now let's start learn these things, first we have show table structure for this feature, this is our testing database and under this we have one table comments with four table column like comment head, comment subject, comment text and comment status. We will insert notification data under this table. In comment status we will insert only two values 0 and 1. 0 means notification is unread and 1 means notification has been read by user. This is our index page, on this page we have user javascript library jQuery and bootstrap framework. We will use your functionality of both framework to make footer pop up notification with PHP script. Under this page first we have create one form with attribute method is equal to poster and it is equal to comment form. We will submit this form data for display pop up notification at footer side. Under this form first we have create text box form enter subjects so we have write input type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to subject, it is equal to subject. After this we have create text area tag for enter comment. So we have write text area tag with attribute name equal to comment, it is equal to comment and rows is equal to 5. In form lastly we have create one submit button, so for we have write input type is equal to submit with attribute name is equal to post, it is equal to post and value is equal to post. When we have click on this button then form data has been submitted to server. Below this form we have create one division tag with attribute that is equal to alert pop over. Under this tag we will display footer pop up notification. Now we have first set the property of this tag, so we have set display property as block, position set to absolute, bottom position set to 50 pixel and left position set to 50 pixel. Here we have set this property. Under this division tag we have create one more division tag with attribute class is equal to wrapper. And under this wrapper division we have create one more division tag with attribute class is equal to content and under this class we will display pop up notification on web page. Now let's first set the property of wrapper class. So here we have first set display property set as table cell, vertical align property set as bottom, height property set auto and width property set to 200 pixel. Now we have write alert default class and in this class we have set color property to black, background color property set to gray and border color property set to gray color. We will use this class for display alert notification on web page. Now friends we have moved to write jQuery code to fetch notification data from table. So first we have make one load last notification function. This function will fetch last comment data from table and display under bootstrap pop over at footer side. Under this function we have define ajax method for send request to server. Under this method we have first write url option set to fetch.php page. We have send request to this page. In second option we have write method. In this option we have define which method should we use for send request to server. Here we have use post method. Lastly we have write success callback function. This function has been called if request completed successfully. This function has been received data from server. 
Under this function we want to display alert notification data under division tag with attribute class is equal to content. So for this we have write dollar with class name content as selector with HTML method and under this method we have write data argument. This will display alert notification under this tag. Now we have moved to write PHP code on fetch.php page. So on this page we have first make database connection. So here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to miscly connect function with for argument like host name set to local host, username set to root, password set to blank and database name set to testing. After making database we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from comments table where comment status is equal to zero order by commented in descending order. This query fetch unseen comment data from table. Now we want to execute this query, so we have write dollar result variable is equal to miscly query function with two argument like database connection string dollar connect variable and dollar query variable. This function will execute query and store result into dollar result variable. After executing query now we want fetch data from dollar result variable, so we have write while loop with dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with dollar result variable. This function will convert query result into array and store into dollar row variable. Under this loop we have write dollar output variable and in this variable we have append HTML code like division tag with attribute class is equal to alert and alert default, here alert class is a bootstrap class and alert default class which we have defined on index page. Under this division tag we have write open and close paragraph tag and between this tag we have write open and close strong tag and between this tag we have write dollar row comment subject variable. This will print comment subject table column data. Below this we want to display comment text table column data so we have write dollar row comment text variable. This will print comment text table column data. So this way we have store comment data into dollar output variable. Now we want to change comment status 0 to 1 that means this comment notification we have seen now we do not want to see again. So for this we have write dollar update query variable is equal to update set comments table set comment status column is equal to 1 where comment status is equal to 0. This query will change status of comment whose status is 0 it will change value to 1. Here 0 means unseen comment and 1 means we have already seen that comment and do not want to see it again. So this way we will see one unseen comment notification seen only one time. Now we want to execute this query so we have write miscly query function with two argument like database connection string like dollar connect variable and query which we have store under dollar update query variable. This function will execute query. Now we want to send this data to Ajax request. So we have write echo statement with dollar output variable. This will display this data under division tag popover plugin on web page. Now we have moved to write query code for submit form data to server. So we have write dollar with form mid comment form with on method and under this method we have write submit event with function event argument. So when form has been submitted then this code will execute. Under this function we have write event dot prevent default method, this method will stop to submit form to server. After this we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar with text box id subject with value method not equal to blank and dollar with text area tag id comment with value method not equal to blank. This condition will check if both tag has some value then it will execute if block otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose if both or one of the tag has no value then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write alert with message like both fields are required. 
but suppose both tag has some value then it will execute if block of code and under this block first we have write form data variable is equal to dollar this with serialized method. This method will convert form data to URL and code and store into form data variable. After this we have write ajax method and under this method we have write URL option set to insert.php page. Here we have send request to insert.php page. In second option we have write method option with post method. Here we have used post method for send form data. In third option we have write data option. And here we have write form data variable. Under this option we have define which data we want send to server. Lastly we have write success callback function. This function has been called if request completed successfully and this function has received data from server. Under this function first we want to reset the form fields, so we have write dollar with form mid comment formed with zero index with reset method. This method will reset form field. Now we have moved to write PHP code at insert.php page. And on this page first we have write of statement and under condition we have writes of function with dollar post subject variable as argument. This condition will check if value of this dollar post subject variable is set then it will execute if block of code. Under if block first we have make database connection by write dollar connect variable is equal to miscly connect function with for argument like local lost, root, blank password and testing database. After making database we want to clean the form values so we have used miscly real escape string function for escape special character from string and store dollar post subject value in dollar subject variable and dollar post comment variable value into dollar comment variable. After clean form data, so now we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into comments table with column like comment subject and comment text with values like dollar subject variable and dollar comment variable. This is insert data query. Now we want to execute this query so we have write miscly query function with two argument like database connection string dollar connect variable and dollar query variable. This will execute insert query and form data will be inserted into table. Lastly we want to see an automatic alert notification on web page so we have go to index page query code and here we have write set interval method with function. This method will execute code on specified interval of time. Under this function we have write load last notification function with 10,000 millisecond. So this set interval method called this function on every 10 seconds, and every 10 seconds it will check any new comment has been inserted or not in table. If inserted then it will display notification on web page. Friends you can see that when page has been loaded then on web page you can see form with two field like subject text box and comment text area field with one post submit button. So when we have directly click on button then we have received pop up message like both fields are required. So now we have write and subject Peter Parker invite you and in comment we have write Peter Parker invite you to play game and click on post button. After clicking on submit button we have received pop up notification at left bottom side. After some time notification has been hide from web page. So this way we have make simple Facebook style pop up notification in PHP script by using Ajax query with bootstrap. Here we have used bootstrap alert class for display pop up notification. In one of this our previous video tutorial we have already make Facebook type header notification and after watching that video many viewers has request us to make Facebook type footer pop up notification also. So we have make this video tutorial. So friends if you like this video tutorial please share this video with your friends or even you can also share on social media like Facebook or Twitter also. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial please comment your query under comment box with code.
And lastly if you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for getting future video update. Thank you for watching this video we will be meet in next video. Keep watching our channel video tutorial.